Hey guys, how you doing? This is Alma. Just uh, let you know what's going on. Um, as you know, this year uh, we've got the blood moons happening. And then we had an, uh, a situation that happened in Easter where there was three earthquakes on Easter Island. And um, three different earthquakes. But anyways, a uh, new topic I want to talk to you about is about um, this uh, biometric uh, identification where um, you'll need it to basically buy stuff. And, and the Bible talks about that. But here's an article on talks about this recently on it. So identification basically to to so that you can be able to purchase stuff and we're definitely in that era right now where in this in this article here talks about that there are some areas right now in the world where payment systems require scanning of the face uh I'm sorry scanning of the palm or the face um it's already been tested and it's being implicated and so that uh they they basically are saying that so that you be protected from hackers uh with your credit cards and bank accounts and ATM machines and uh internet passwords and all this stuff. Uh well it's definitely here. It's uh already implemented as you can see. So you won't be able to buy stuff or sell anything without uh identification. And um you all heard about the ARF uh what is it? The um, the chip that they're talking about, the RFD chip implants. Well, you can see that's coming to reality on that. So it's already invented, and so they're just uh, trying to push it so that uh, you'll have to have it. So it's a uh, basically as small as a grain of rice that you can hook it up, and basically it's an identification thing. And uh, that's a reality. Um, those of you who don't know the Bible. Uh, Bible talks about that. It's called the mark of the beast. In Revelation 13, 16, and 18, it talks about that. It says basically both the rich and the poor will feel free uh, to be marked on the right hand or the forehand so that no one can buy or sell unless they have this mark. Get it? No one could buy or sell unless they have the mark. And what did we just read here? Basically, you cannot uh, buy or sell anything. Basically, you can't purchase anything without scanning on that. So it's it's reality on that, and you can see by scriptures on that. And then Revelations 13, 1 through 18, it just talks more about that, um, about the scripture about the mark of the beast that's happening. So we're right right in the corner of that. Um, I don't know if the Lord's coming. Uh, very soon. I don't know if we're going to be stuck in the middle of it. I'm praying that we won't. I'm hoping for the rapture. I'm believing for the rapture to happen. Um, if you want to stay here, you can. Um, but I'm praying that the rapture would happen on that. And uh, the Bible does talks about that. And he says that when the sun turns to blood, um, you'll see the Son of Man coming. And we already know about the wars and rumors in Mark's uh, uh, 24 where it talks about nation against nations. War against rumors, uh, rumors of war, earthquakes, and all that. that. All those things are definitely happening already. So you all know that by reading the news and when I do the earthquake reports as well. So, um, But the selling and the buying of the chip thing, it's, it's already developed. And so they're just going to push it when it comes through. Um, there, I, I believe in the rapture. I know some people say that we're going to go through the tribulation all this stuff. And some people said there's no scripture that talks about rapture. Or there's no actual word rapture. Well, um, the Bible does mention about gathering and being caught up on that. Scriptures on that. So um, whether uh, if it's going to happen this year or next year, I don't know. But it's very, very, very close according to that. And uh, uh, you can look about the blood moons. And, and that's a different topic on that. But I recommend you look at it. But... Uh, I just want to tell you about what's happening um, about the mark of beast. It's it's definitely around the corner here. So they're trying to push it, um, as you can see. Um, um, I don't know how soon this is going to happen, but uh, it's going to happen. So um, just don't take it. Now the Bible says that if you take it, then um, that'll be the end. So. Um, 
So it's better to, to die and, and not take this thing. So according to that, if you don't believe me, just read the scriptures, Revelations 13, um, 1 through 18. It talks all about the Mark of Beast stuff. So um, just let you know. And if, if the rapture does happen, uh, there's a lesson I put up there on, on YouTube as well. It says, what, what do you do when the rapture, what I do with when when I miss the rapture. So the, those who don't know Jesus and the rapture does happen, uh, there's still a chance for you to go to heaven. It's just don't take this number, this this uh, identification, this number of the beast and stuff like that. Because um, if you do, I think that will be it. So, um... God bless you guys. Just letting you know what's going on. It's uh, it's around the corner. The rapture. Uh, Jesus is coming. He did say he's coming now. That's for sure in scripture. So, and uh, I'm believing that uh, we're going to be raptured on that. So um, now is not a time to be wavering and and you know like having one foot in the world and, and uh, one foot in with the Lord. And so uh, definitely know what's happening and these are the signs and the bible says that look look for the signs so god bless you guys and know what's happening here so um the buying and selling thing is happening so uh, i just pray you people will know what's going on as well so god bless you guys bye